Hello and welcome to Speak Out with Danielle, where I will be asking six questions about how lockdown is for our guests. Today's guests are Sabre Salmon and Matthew Helen. Could you both say a little bit about yourself, please? Who wants to start? Do you want to start, Matthew? Um, okay, so my name is Matthew Hellett. Um, I'm involved with Oscar Bright. I'm the lead programmer. What else? I don't know. What does Oscar Bright do? Oh, 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 yeah, sorry. We're a short, sorry, we're an international short film festival. Um, um, May form for people who learn disabilities to showcase their work. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sabre, what about you? Yeah, so um, I'm a, uh, so I'm Saba Salman, I'm a journalist and author and I'm the editor of the book Made Possible, which is a book of stories about success by learning disabled people. Um, and that's uh, how I know Matthew. Actually, well, we had met before, um, but Matthew's yeah. story is one of the amazing stories in the book. And I'm also a sibling, so I have a sister with a learning disability, and I'm also the chair of a charity called SIBS, which supports the brothers and sisters of disabled people. So what have you liked about being in lockdown? (laughs) Chop and change it. Yeah. I liked about lockdown. Gosh, well, I suppose um, where I live, the streets have been quieter. Um, I've had more time to spend with my children, I guess, which is something I have both liked and also found quite difficult at times. Um, So um, maybe the change of pace. I'm trying to think of some of the positive things because everyone always talks about obviously the the tough stuff that we've all been through with lockdown so yeah maybe taking things a bit more slowly and um, learning how to use new technology as well so those would be my answers what about you Matthew um so what have I liked about it yeah well I've I've got yeah I've got a similar answer to Saba i quite liked like how quiet the streets are and there was no traffic about and everything much seemed to be much slower and um and I, and and weirdly enough I quite liked it and then when it gets and and then um and then I've just been using zoom to talk to carousel and then to 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 also um have a conversation with my family as well so so that's been that's been okay yeah what haven't you liked about being in lockdown matthew do you want to go first this time uh, um yeah okay what haven't i liked about it um I've, um um so i think the sheer I don't know the sheer isolation. Um, um, not being able to, not being able to go about and use use the shops or or even though the food shops were open. Um, I I don't know. I I don't know. Everything we took for granted was closed. So. I don't know, I found that quite hard and also kind of not being able to meet up with my family as um, yeah, as well as go back to Carousel, yeah. What about you, Saba? <laughs> yeah, well, it's really similar to, to Matthew, actually. Um, and it's interesting because Matthew and I, having worked on the book, we've also worked on a couple of different articles together. So we've had a few conversations about how how difficult this sort of the lockdown was and just generally how difficult it is living with the coronavirus and it's the same stuff it's it's not being able to see your family not being able to see your friends yeah not not being able to go out you know um like you used to and it's that loss of of freedom i think um 
And as well as that, uh, I've found it really tough not being able to see my youngest sister. So there's my family, obviously, but particularly with my sister Rana, she um, she's, doesn't really use the phone. So I can't speak to her on the phone. She doesn't do video calls. So when lockdown happened, I basically had no way of contacting her, communicating with her directly, which was really difficult. So that was that was awful, actually, for, for all my family. Um, and I spent a lot of time worrying about how she would deal with the isolation. So just like Matthew said, you know, we've all really struggled with that. But Rana particularly, um, she has a really busy schedule and, you know, her diary's packed full of stuff. She does like to get out and about. But when all of that changed, along with the sort of lack of face-to-face -face contact with her family um, and friends, I, that's something I really didn't like, the, the kind of worrying about how that was going to affect her. That was tough. Is there any new skills you've learnt being in lockdown? Mm. Saba? Yeah. Um, so, I don't know if it's a skill, but I did have to learn how to use Zoom. I'd never heard of Zoom before all of this happened um, I didn't use Microsoft Teams so I've kind of struggled with those um, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't can't work out why what it is that I'm doing whether it's just you know fate um, and uh, I suppose the other thing it's not so much a new skill but a new way of doing things is to try and keep in touch with Rana I ended up making video messages so although she doesn't do calls, she doesn't do Zoom. She's really happy to watch videos on her, on her phone. So that was something new that I did um, and was new for both of us. So new for me making messages with, you know, the video on my phone um, and new for her sort of watching it back. And that was really nice. What about you, Matthew? I'm sorry, what's the question again? Sorry. Um, what new um, skills? What have new you learned skills? while being well, in lockdown? Well, I suppose I've learned how to use this platform called Zoom and we've had no choice, but it's, it's been quite useful. Um, um, during, the early, during the early times of March and April when, it, when you couldn't see anybody, I, I wrote a little diary down because I felt um, it kind of like help me get help me find a voice on paper and then and then i i and then i started doing some paintings that i've never done before weirdly enough and then yeah yeah just to take my mind off it and be distracted to do something completely different and new is there any advice you would give someone being in lockdown? I'll let you start, Matthew. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe like, um, use stuff for, from what you've maybe learnt in this lockdown. Maybe, maybe try and use your initiative and phone a friend or family and um and maybe get out or turn to a hobby so so, so that you do something to take your mind off stuff um what would i do differently um um i don't know um maybe i'll pick up the phone more actually yeah <sighs> Yeah, I, I would agree with that, actually. I mean, exactly like, like Matthew said, I think, I suppose what I've learned is that all of us are going through this sort of overwhelming time. And actually, if you, if you talk to someone else, and it's as simple as picking up the phone, and I think yeah. we, we rely a lot, don't we, on kind of text message or email. We don't phone each other up that often, but actually having those phone calls and realizing that you're not the only one feeling like this and having that connection is really important. So I found that really helped for me, like Matthew, getting out and about actually getting some fresh air. Yeah. Um, getting yeah, just getting out. Uh, yeah. Just getting out for a walk, get Absolutely. some fresh air. Yeah. And then 
we get so much information about what's going on and some of that information is quite difficult to understand it's quite confusing because the restrictions and the rules are changing quite a lot and not all of the information is really very easy to no understand. it's not it's really quite confusing and it still is to this day <laughs> Mm. Um, so I think I think probably something about what I would do is is maybe have some time where I'm not reading the news headlines. I'm not watching the news. I'm not listening yeah. to the news, but having a bit of space away from that, um, and and yeah, calling people up, seeing people, if that's possible, two meters away. Oh yeah, two meters. Yep. Yeah, social distancing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, see some of the some of the rules we do yeah. remember. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's what Matthew said about talking to people and trying to stay connected and keeping busy yeah. if you can. That's that's what's worked for me, definitely. What's the first thing you you did when we come out of the first lockdown? Sabah? Yeah, so um, first thing I did was to see my family. So I saw my parents um, and other family members and I went and saw my sister, which was amazing. Um, also quite strange because we had to do the two meter thing. Um, but that was, um, that was just wonderful to be able to see people again and have that contact. So that's the first thing, first thing that I did, yeah. What about you, Matthew? Um, so what's the first thing I did? Um, yeah, I actually met up with a small amount of my family, just and that was quite nice. So yeah. And then and then the second thing I did was to, was to go out for, was to go out for coffee and that was quite quite nice. Um um yeah, it's it seemed quite surreal because you haven't done it for so long. But these little things like meet up with small amounts of people in your family actually mean quite a lot. So, yeah, people forget about that. Um, yeah. Um, is there anything you were going to do differently once lockdown is all over? Uh, I think I would um, get myself on the video platforms quicker I would um, practice <laughs> um, just to understand them a bit more work out what the options are the different methods of communication online and um, also I think I would record a stack of video messages for my sister so I could just send them off as and when I felt we needed to have that communication um, and I think I would try harder to Think about some of the positive stuff that, that Matthew was talking about earlier, like appreciate the fact, appreciate the small things that we maybe took for granted before and appreciate the fact that there's less, it's less busy out there. It's maybe a slower pace of life, which is quite welcome. So that's what I would do, I think. What about you, Matthew? So what would I do differently? Yeah. Um, I've, 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 I think I would be more efficient when it comes to emails and deleting um, a lot of junk because that took up quite a bit of time when I was trying to be um, a Zoom meet up with my family. Um, um, I think I would get out of my flat more or try to be just, just um, even if I didn't go into a shop or a cafe, um, and I, I'm not necessarily going to town, maybe maybe just find a, a nice quiet park or go to the sea. Um, um, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was the last question. Oh, was it the last question? Yeah, that was the last one. Can I change my last answer to be Matthew's answer? Because that was just really lovely. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually quite inspiring. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for co coming on to speak out with Daniel, Saba and Matthew. Okay. Thank, thank you. Yeah. And thank you for watching.
Goodbye.